Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to lecture 54. So, uh, we were working with evaluation of Langrange bracket. So, we continue with that. So, in that context, we wrote R equal to xi p cap plus eta q cap okay. p1 times i cap, p2 times j cap. This is Q1 times I cap using this short notation of representing p cap in terms of p1 i cap and so on as we have written here. So, if we are avoiding longer equations. Right times p3 times eta times q3. Okay, so let us name this as equation 1 here. So, this implies that x is a function of xi eta, y is a function of xi eta and z is also a function of xi eta. But while dealing with the orbit, we are not interested right now in this part, only we are interested in this part. So, from 1, from equation 1, we will get here x dot equal to. Now, if we differentiate this part, so we can see that we get this as xi dot p1 plus eta dot q1 and from where this is appearing this is appearing directly from this equation r dot equal to x dot i cap plus y dot j cap and z dot k cap okay. and uh, so in that equation if you look back this particular part it is a only xi dot p cap. Okay, so if, uh, what we were uh, writing so this is visible from this place because this part is 0. Okay. Therefore, we are left with only xi dot p cap and eta dot q cap. So, r dot equal to xi dot p cap plus and 
xi dot p cap no sorry, eta dot q cap and p cap already we know this is p 1 times i 1 cap p 2 times uh, p, p 1 times i cap p 2 times j cap and p 3 times k cap and the other part q 1 times i cap plus q 2 times j cap q 3 times k cap. So, from here immediately we can see that x dot then becomes xi times p 1 plus xi dot times p 1 eta dot times q 1. Similarly, y dot equal to xi dot times p 2 and eta dot times q 2 so on. So, this is what we have written here in this place and z dot also if we can it can be written in the same way xi dot p 3 plus eta dot q 3 we are not interested in z, z dot right now. Okay, therefore, we see that x dot this is also a function of xi dot eta dot and y dot also it is a function of xi dot and eta dot. Moreover, from this place we will need some of these derivatives to be evaluated later on. So, x dou x dot by dou xi dot this becomes p 1 and dou x dot by dou eta dot this is q 1 along the same line dou y dot by dou xi dot is q 1 and dou y dot by dou eta dot is q 2. Moreover, we can observe from this place this gives us dou x by dou xi equal to p 1 and dou x by dou eta equal to q 1. So, th these values are the same. Okay. This also dou y by dou xi this gives us dou y this is q 2 p 2 dou y dot dou y dot by dou xi dot is we have written something wrong p 1 q 1 ok in this part we have written wrongly here. From this place we, if we look into this dou y uh, dot by dou xi dot is p 2 and Similarly, dou y dot by dou eta dot that becomes q 2. Okay. So, here this will be uh, p 2 and dou y by dou eta this becomes q 2. So, these are some of the information, information we require to uh, solve this problem. So, r dot is nothing but dou r dot by dou t is equal to xi dot p cap plus dou eta dot times q cap. The principle we have used here the other part as I told you earlier p dot and q dot this part is not appearing because the same principle we are using the oscillating orbit and the true orbit. So, you can see that r dot equal to dou r dot by dou t. Okay. So, for the this is for the velocity in the oscillating orbit and the true orbit they are the same. Okay. 
and velocity in the oscillating orbit it will depend only on xi and eta not on the unit vectors. Okay. So, therefore, the other part is 0 okay. with this information we are ready to work with the Langrange bracket. This is what we were looking for and then we wrote this quantities as alpha r alpha s The first one okay, it will be better all the time while you are working. So, write it in the determinant format and only then work with this, uh, otherwise, there may be chances of mistake. Okay. But if you are conversant with the notation you can directly write this here in this way also. Okay, so, this determinant as we can see this will result in what I am writing here. Similarly, the other part do y dot by Now, we insert the corresponding values do x by do alpha r how much this quantity is. this quantity we can write as okay for because x is a function of xi and eta therefore we can write this as do x by do xi times do xi by do alpha r plus do x by do x by do eta times do eta by do alpha r. And then x dot. So, this is do x dot by do xi times do xi by do alpha s plus do alpha s okay, minus this quantity. So, for this also we need to write here. So, you can see that uh, if we try to write for all of them how long this will be. 
So, it becomes pretty difficult to write all these quantities, but because of the sum of the repetition, we can write in a quicker way. So, this becomes dou y by dou xi. See, I could have skipped all these mathematics and directly I could have written the final equation, but you miss all of them. It is a in order to how the things are developing. So, if you know, so you understand the subject better, and that is the main objective here. So, dou y by dou eta times dou eta by dou alpha r. So, this is the bracket only for the first one. Say this is suppose A, this part is B and this part is C. So, this is just representing A and thereafter we have to also write the same kind of bracket for B and same kind of bracket for C. Only thing they will be in terms of oh, here. Uh, Sorry, this part while working, we are debating this part is x because still we are working with the a, the first bracket. So, here this is x, all these are x, and then this part becomes the first part here x dot x dot x dot and then this becomes x x. Okay, similarly, we will have for y and y dot z and z dot. Okay. Now, we will need to simplify, we will first use this uh, uh, only work with A. Okay. So, let us work only with the A. So, A can be written as the first part zo x y do x y do xi. This is nothing but P 1. Okay. As we have written earlier do x y do xi, this is P 1 this quantity here. So, the first one is P 1 and then multiplied by dou xi by dou alpha r multiplied by dou xi by dou alpha r plus the second quantity dou x by then dou x by dou xi uh, dou dou x by dou eta. So, dou x by dou eta dou x by dou eta is q 1. Okay. So, therefore, we write here q 1 and this becomes dou eta divided by dou alpha r. Okay. So, this way we can complete this part A dou x dot by dou xi already we have seen that it is uh, the same thing the P 1. dou xi dot y dot xi dot ok here uh, one more correction is there while we are writing we are missing that point these are xi dot wherever x dot is there so if we look back here so it is a function of 
xi dot and eta dot. Similarly, y dot is a function of xi dot and eta dot. So, accordingly we have got this quantities here which are we are going to use. So, here also we were missing. So, th this we supply this is eta dot eta dot wherever the dot part is there. So, correspondingly on xi and eta we also the dot is present. Okay. So, here in this part also the dot is present. Okay. Similarly, in this part also the dot is present and this part is ok. So, with this then we have do x dot by do xi dot this is same thing as uh, p 1. So, this we have already written and this is do xi dot by do alpha this is do alpha s ok. Other part is here with respect to alpha s. So, this is alpha s not alpha r. So, this is alpha s. Similarly, the other part then the next part okay. this part we are writing do xi by do eta dot do xi by do eta dot we will look here do we are completing this part the first part we have already written this part we already we have written this part we are writing. So, do x by do xi dot we are looking for do x dot by do xi dot which is nothing but p 1. So, the p 1 we are supplying here and thereafter we have do xi dot by do alpha s. Yes. do xi dot by do alpha s this we have done and uh, then the other part do x dot by do eta dot do x dot by do eta dot this is q 1 ok. So, next we write here q 1 and the do eta dot divided by do alpha s. So, this is do eta dot divided by do alpha s. So, this way we can complete And uh, I could have written in terms of the uh, determinant itself. So, uh, and writing in terms of determinant itself, it will it will not spread out, and it will be easy to work out. Okay, rather than working in terms of the expression, the way we are writing here. So, anyway, uh, that of uh, already we have written in terms of this. So, we will follow this part thereafter we will have the other part which is uh, this part we have done now this part we have to do. So, do xi dot uh, do x dot by do xi dot this equal to p 1 p 1 and then do xi dot by do alpha r do xi dot by do alpha r and the same way then do x dot by do eta dot will be q 1. Okay. So, this is q 1 and then we get do eta dot by do alpha r do eta dot by do alpha r and then in the next term we take do x by do xi this is p 1 this is p 1 and then uh, do xi by do alpha r the other quantity so this is uh, alpha r this quantity see the first quantity we have written this part we have written the, the other quantity is with respect to s. So, this should be alpha s this should be alpha s. So, as the equation gets complicated, so uh, it is quite likely that we omit few symbols here. So, this part we are writing, okay, this part is here. So, this part is with respect to alpha s, 
therefore, we have to write it with respect to alpha s. So, dou xi by dou alpha s. And similarly, the other part dou x by dou eta. So, dou x by dou eta is nothing but q 1. So, q 1 and thereafter dou eta by dou alpha s dou eta by dou alpha s. Okay, so, this is for A and the same thing if we use the determinant form. So, simply this becomes P 1 dou alpha r plus Q 1. Writing in terms of determinants, it is a little convenient because uh, we do not do mistake in that case. So, this is how your L looks like and once we multiply, so we get it in this form. Ultimately, we have to use this form, okay. we, we need to reduce the uh, whole equation. So, we are bound to use this equation. So, following the same line, then the B can be written as from determinant part I am writing this, this is easier to do P 2 dou xi by dou alpha s plus Q 2 because this is related to y okay, and therefore, P 2 and Q 2 are appearing, rest other things will remain same. So, this is your part B which is corresponding to this one. So, this is much easier to write. So, what we need to do? We pick up this dou y by dou r dou r alpha dou alpha r we are writing in terms of alpha here also this is dou alpha r times dou y dot by dou alpha s. So, dou y by dou alpha r the quantity we can check dou y by dou alpha r uh, dou y by we are doing mistake here. Okay. So, uh, this part then uh, we have not written here dou y by dou alpha r we should have we can expand it and if we expand, so this we have to write again in terms of eta xi and eta. So, dou y by dou xi times dou xi by dou alpha r okay, plus dou y by dou eta times dou eta by dou alpha r. Okay, this is the this part. Okay. Thereafter, we need to write for this part. Okay. So, this part similarly we can put here in the bracket multiplied by here. So, this becomes dou y dot by this quantity now with respect to xi dot okay. because it is appearing as a function of xi dot dou y dot by dou xi dot dou xi dot by dou alpha s.
and uh, xi dot this is eta dot eta dot xi dot and eta dot function so we are using this okay then we need to take up this part so similarly write this part so instead of writing here in this format here it's a directly written in the matrix uh, de determinant format which is much easier to work with okay so you can check this step because so much of mathematics if we keep doing this uh, in the uh, lecture so it won't be possible to uh, cover this course Similarly, the C part we can write as now instead of this P2, P1, P2, it starts with P3. So P3 and rest of the things will appear in the same way. Those you can see that uh, from here, this part is the same as appearing here. Do xi y do alpha do xi y do alpha s. So they are appearing in the same way except for the coefficient P2 and Q2. So from here, it's a very much clear that we just have to repeat it. We don't have to do much exercise here. Okay. So P3 times do xi y do alpha r plus Q3 times do eta y do alpha r. Similarly, here P3 times do xi y do eta r alpha s. This is uh, okay. This is okay. First, we are differentiating so do xi y do alpha s and Q3 times. do eta by do alpha s So here alpha r is appearing, alpha s is appearing, alpha s, alpha r, everywhere we can see alpha r, alpha s, alpha r, alpha s. So it's a repeating the same pattern. And therefore, if we add all of them, so the, this is basically what we have written as a, b, and c. This is nothing but your jx equal to a, this is jy, and this part is zz. So j equal to jx plus jy plus jz. In addition, we are going to use the properties that p1 cap dot p cap dot q cap because both are perpendicular to each other. P cap is perpendicular to q cap. Okay. Therefore, this quantity is bound to be zero. And moreover, p cap dot p cap. This will be because it's a unit vector, so the product will be one. Similarly, q cap dot q cap, this will also be one. So this information we can utilize to solve this particular problem. Now, whatever we have written for the a, all of them a, b, and c, all of them need to be represented in this form. Okay. Finally, we have to use this form, but this form is right in the beginning easy to work with. Okay. So this needs to be reduced in this format. So we have already done this also needs to be reduced here in this format. And then all of them needs to be added because there is the plus sign and plus sign here. So 
So, once we all add all of them, we get j. So, for getting j, we need to add all the three determinants. So, after adding them, we can reduce them to get the proper equation. So, what, uh, what we do, the rest of the exercise, we do it in the next lecture. We will stop here. Uh, thank you very much.